It's 4.36 in the morning. I am up because I am running my very first 5K today. So before we can get into me running a 5K, I've got to show you the journey. This is a process and let me show you how I got here. Today is my very first day of getting healthy. Okay, boo, May of 2022, I started to get on my health journey. I started to look at my body and say, hey, the Globe Series is coming in less than a month. It's time to get moving. So I started to try to move my body every single day, even if it was a 10 minute jog, a walk around the park with my dog. And real quick, from May to mid-June, I started to notice a change in my body. I started to see a little less fat in the stomach area. I seen a little more of a smoothness, not so loose as much. And it was really inspiring me to keep going. And the reality is when I started this journey, the last day of April, I weighed myself and I was 186 pounds. But I also told myself that that was my last time weighing myself for this year. Because I have known in the past that the number on the scale can take me up or down emotionally. And now that I know this is a mental battle, that I know I cannot look at the scale, but I only have to base it off how I feel about me and my body. So I started making a little more smarter decisions and tried to keep a really healthy relationship with food and not cut too much stuff out, but just show up for my health, eat things that I liked, but also try my best not to overindulge. And the reality, y'all, I just kept trying to show up. That's it. Like just video clips of me just showing up, trying to jog, trying to get it, get it in, get it right, get it tight. That really was the only go is just move your body a few days a week, Morgan. It's going to make you feel better overall. It's going to boost your mood and it's going to help your heart and it's going to help your longevity and your purpose overall, right? So that's the whole focus. And I knew it was inspiring you ladies out there. And so that was an extra push for me. And then over time, I think as I kept jogging and kept running, I started to get really like, okay, I've got to take more pictures. I've got to look at pictures of myself. So I looked at pictures I took previously, and then I also compared them to pre pictures I took recently. And some of them did not look that different. Like I still could see some problem areas and I just lost a lot of motivation. I lost a lot of motivation to keep working out, but something happened and this was powerful. I remembered where I came from. And this actual picture is from 2018. I actually was dropped out of college, fell out of college not too long before this. I was mentally stuck. I was trying to work on this ministry that you can kind of see in the background, HDC back there on some flower walls. But this dream felt so far away. I was behind on in life on my dreams and my goals. My finances were shot. I didn't even really have a job. I was so lost at this season of my life. And I was 196 pounds. And I came across this photo and I realized that I have been at this place before. And I know that this is not a physical battle. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against spiritual things. And this was a spiritual battle that I had to fight my way out of. And so this place of remembering where I was helped me see the beauty in where I am today. Because I'm not in the same location. I'm not in the same mindset. I'm not even in the same body really anymore. And the issues I had then are no more. And so that opened up my spirit to see the good in where I was standing. Even though I wasn't at the goals I had, I was somewhere different. And when I compared a photo from then to where I just took about a week ago, I seen a major difference in that human being. And then also compared a picture I took in like April compared to one I took about a week ago, I seen a major difference. And I realized the only way you can get here is if you just decide to keep going. So I hope you enjoyed my little process of my journey. Now let's get into my vlog about me running this 5K. I had to show you the journey though, sis. Hey, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, Morgan Tracy J. Today, it is right now like four something in the morning. It's 4.36 in the morning. I am up because I am running my very first 5K today and I gotta get myself together. Um, it, this is something I've been wanting to do for two years, but due to COVID, um, the last few years, they've canceled this whole thing. And so now this year is actually my time to do it. And y'all, I want, your girl was like, I don't know. I don't know if this is the year. Like, I want to go back to the, I need a little more, some more time to train. Honestly, I'm a little nervous, but I'm like, I know I'm going to do great because I've been running for a long time, for a while now. And I ran a 5K last week and it kicked my butt. But I realized I could do it, you know, and so um, and every week, like I run a few miles a day or every few days. So I've really been trying my, to get myself to a place of just running. 
But yeah, I guess this is really the start of my fearless era. So I'm putting product in my hair because even after the race, I'm going to hang out out there for a while. And I'll tell you more about where the race is and everything later. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to get myself together, get some footage. I'm just, I was thinking of wearing actually long leggings, but I think I'm going to do biker shorts, leggings with, uh, excuse me, biker shorts with a pink sweatshirt. Like that's kind of my go-to. That was my alarm clock, but my mom got me to turn that off. But um, I just wanted to wear something that I know I feel comfortable in and I don't feel like I'm tugging on or pulling on. And I'm also going to be wearing my glow up fanny pack just because that mug I've been using it this whole time I'm running. And the goal is I'm trying to make this feel like another run. Like, I don't want it to feel the pressure of, like, oh, I've got to get out here and run this 5K. Like, I just want it to feel like another day, another run. I've been running since May, so it's not like I have not been running. I've been running since May, um, and I know I have built some great stamina. I know my time has improved. I've also used the Nike Run app to kind of help me with this whole process um, and all that. So, yeah, today is... Um, a vlog for my fearless air and you're gonna see me run a 5k like this is ridiculous for me this is crazy because morgan does not do 5ks but this is something that's monty in the background living his best life on my bed mont j mont j hey 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 get down right now down down i don't trust you here i'm about to get you down come here you're still a good boy but you gotta get down i need you to get down thank you yeah, Brad, grab him. You just, get, just, get, just get out the way, long story short, son. Just, just move, baby. Okay. So, my mom is going with me. And also, my cousin Krista is running this as well with me. So, we're all, like, doing a little family thing. So, we are so... I'm so excited that I don't really have to go alone. Enough. And this is going to be kind of... I just added some product in my hair. I'm actually going to be pulling my hair up, but, um, you know, it just makes it look overall better if you've got some product in this hair of yours. Shout out to the natural girls out there. Monty's getting into stuff. well this right here is what I'm gonna be running in today but I am just not that girl yet where I feel skinny or skinny like I'm just not that girl yet so I'm gonna be wearing a pink sweater over this but I do need to throw on some spray deodorant I need to clean off this beard <laughs> I got my little. Neither did your mama. <laughs> well, mama didn't get that much sleep either. I got my number. It's hanging on for dear life right now because I, I lost the other pin, but I'm going to go get another one. But I have my number and I've got my little uh, fall, not fall, huh? Lord have mercy, uh, my little fanny pack. And so I think I'm ready. I'm going to go stretch and use the bathroom. And then it's time for my run. And so I'm so excited. Most of the next footage I'm probably going to get from my phone. But we are here. We got up at four something. And the run starts in like less than 30 minutes. So we did it. It's almost time for the real deal. I'm excitedly nervous. I can do it though. Oh. 
us did it head start before so that way not all of us are like getting mingled in with each other well, I think, I there's a, I think the oh, fast wow. one going to be the first one yeah the yeah. fast one and that's what I was wondering are, like, are you running <laughs> we're getting ready to run a 5k this is my Uncle Joe boy Uncle Joe boy you want to tell them how old you are uh, 60 <laughs> 60 <laughs> he's 60 Krista hi she's young so that, uh, she's, her, her, her age doesn't really matter but I think he's does <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's walking. And my auntie. Hey. <laughs> she's doing it too. Hi, would you take a picture? Oh, yes. All right, you guys just finished my 5K. I feel exhausted, but it was harder than expected. But also I beat my time. So I was kind of trying to race against my own time. Let me show you. I'll show you on the screen where I beat my 5K time and I feel really good. You ran this. We did, girl. I'm proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. That prep was hard. That prep was great. I was so mad. 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 Y'all, look at my uncle. He beat me. He beat me. Good job. You beat me. Yeah, I'm years old. Are you serious? Really? 80? Yeah, about 80 years old. Wow. All right, you guys. We finished our 5K. We're so proud. was hard. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Joe. Alright, All right, you guys. I'm going to end this vlog here. We had a great 5K. I did this with my uncle and my aunt and my cousin and my mom. She was a great support system. <laughs> and we did it and I feel so good. It's something that's been I've been working on for two years to try to get this thing done. And I finally did my very first 5K. My time was better than it's ever been. Shout out to all the people running next to me because they really pushed me in a way. Um, and I just enjoyed myself. So I'm about to go eat. I'm about to go enjoy my family. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Spray me down.